Hi everybody. Welcome back. I uh sorry I was away for a couple weeks. Uh nothing important or anything. Just summer and visits and vacations and work. Like a lot of people <laughs> summertime work picks up, my work especially. But anyway, sorry again guys. Uh, forgive me, but I was, uh, way home from work today. I decided I had to stop at the store and get some toiletries and I was there. I figured I'd stop at the, uh, little, uh, discounter department store we have here and instead of paying $5 for my soap, I get it for three. <laughs> so, uh. Anyway, I stopped and getting some soap and whatnot and deodorant and they had a couple bottles of preferred fragrance cologne that I haven't even seen. Didn't even know existed. As a matter of fact, the one I'm going to review, I didn't even know the original cologne existed. So, yeah. But it was fun. It was fun. It was, it, that's fun for me. I'm sorry. I'm nerd. I know. Ooh, big fucking fraghead nerd. But it was fun. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so what is it? Well, it's... BAM! Not a very good name. But, it's not the name, or the bottle, or the box, it's the juice. That's the bottle. BAM! <laughs> uh, that's the bottle. Not a bad bottle, it did it. it Kind of looks like a water bottle or something. And cap, and you pick it up by the cap if you want. Don't, but you can. Uh, good atomizer. You know, bad preferred has pretty good atomizers, usually. Not always, but usually. Um, anyway, what's it a clone of? That's the question. Bam! <laughs> Four men! <laughs> Bam! Is our impression of Ju-Wow? Ju-Wow. Is their impression of Ju-Wow? I didn't even know, or Yelp, wow, however you want to say it. I say Ju, which is the way it goes, but I could be completely wrong. Don't fucking crucify me. I don't care. I say Ju, you say it every way you want. But the Ju, Yelp, Yop, whatever, I don't care. Ju-Wow. And uh, I have no idea this cologne even existed, so this isn't going to be a comparison, because I don't know, so it's going to be on its own merits, uh, compared to your average preferred longevity and projection and all that stuff. Um, and I, I was thinking when I bought it, you know, Jupe, and Jupe Jump, and, 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 and a couple other Jupes, kind of sweet, right? Not all of them, but... Most of them have that sweet DNA from the original Jupe. I have the original Jupe, Jupe, man. That shit's a beast. Ooh, maybe I'll do that one next. Holy fuck. That shit'll kill somebody. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, I'm going to get on to it here. Uh, on the back of the box here, they give you a little note breakdown. It's kind of neat. Um, bergamot off the top, geranium in the middle, and vanilla at the base. Well, right off the initial spray, you get a wee bit of that citrus. Now, this is just this, like I said, the, the authentic might be different, but preferred is usually pretty good. So, uh, geez, what do I get when I spray this? It's, 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 this is going to sound funny, but it, it has to have cardamom in there. Cardamom? Cardamom? <laughs> Jesus. Tongue tied. It has to have that in there, and I'll tell you why. It smells like my grampy's pipe tobacco. That's the simplest. It, it smells, and that, and I'm not like that's actually good. I like the smell of it. It's a, it's a nice for jupe. It's really different. Like I'm used to jupe and jupe jump and and and, and jupe jupe jupe, and they're all somewhat sweet or light or. Yeah, man, not this, not this. This is, uh, honestly, 
tiered to maybe an older demographic than what you, you whatever you want to call it, usually tries to target. Uh, a little more, not old man or anything, but just a little older, a little more sophisticated. You're in your 30s. You know, you're, you got a career and all that stuff. I don't imagine, I don't see too many young men wearing this. Simply because I don't think it would be appealing to a lot of young women. And when I say young, I'm talking teenagers and early mid-twenties. I don't think it would have... Yeah, that could be wrong. Could be wrong. Hey, it's happened once or twice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but they say geranium. Eh, I get more of a violet feel out of it than geranium. Uh, a woody base from the, the vanilla and the tonka that's on the and sweet, but not overly sweet. Like I said, you ever smell pipe tobacco and it's not the cherry pipe tobacco. That's the difference. Just standard pipe tobacco. It's got that cardamom kind of smoky smell with a little bit of sweetness from the vanilla and the tonka and And then I like it. You know, it's something I don't know if I. I'd have to have a reason to wear a smell a scent like that, if that makes sense. It's not something I'd probably just put on to go out. Uh, my work doesn't require a lot of shirt and ties or, or, or you know polo shirts and t-shirts and whatnot so it's not really but the smell reminds me of my grandfather's pipe tobacco oh man i've talked about it before how smells just you have no sense like the sense of smell man that can just fucking time travel man you literally you smell something you just boom you're right back there oh grampy's pipe tobacco yeah uh, that's what I get. I know people are gonna. Some people who have the clone, like, hey, there's more than I do. No, there's cardamom in there with. Really gives it. It also reminds me. Speaking of that, uh, there's this candle at one of our uh, local stores. I like candles. I like scents, so I like candles. Uh, cardamom and suede, I believe, is it? Yes, cardamom and suede. And it smells exactly like this cologne. Which I said before I even got this cologne, that candle smells exactly like my grandpa's pipe tobacco. And I was going to wait for it to go on sale. I've been waiting about two months now. Uh, this is an expensive candle. They want like 30 bucks for it. I said, no, I'll wait till it goes on sale because I really want it and I'll buy a couple of them. You can get two for the price of one type deal. Financial decisions. Um, yeah. It's really all I got to say about it. It, it, it it's, it's not like your typical yoop, joop, whatever you, however you say it. it, it, it it's not a whole lot of sweetness going on. There's not a whole lot of airy, light airiness going on. Uh, I guess there's another one, uh, Joe You Wild, that's kind of spicy and uh, gets compared a little bit to uh, Spice Bomb. I have Spice Bomb. Spice Bomb's good. So maybe I'll try that one at some point. Now, I guess it's pretty cheap now. You can get it for like 15, 20 bucks, so why not? Uh, anyway, it's not a review on that. It's a review on this. This is... Seems that Jupe might be going in a little more different direction or trying to. I guess sales aren't that good. I don't know. Maybe they're great. I'm just saying when when a company goes what I would call a drastic change from what they're known for, then it's usually a bad sign. But uh, yeah, I, I don't have the original, so I can't compare it to that. But I'm going to assume where it's preferred. Most of them are pretty close. So yeah. Uh, now let's get into the longevity and stuff. Uh, typical preferred, about three hours. 
Projection, 45 minutes to an hour is, is very typical. Um, no compliments or anything on this one. You know, tons of compliments. No, I, but I, I haven't actually wore it out of the house. I just got it today after work about four, four hours ago. Uh, and the wife's not home. She's at work. I had an early day. Rain. <laughs> so they sent us home. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, so no, no compliments or anything, but it's, it's a nice scent. It, for me, and I think anybody who had a Grampy that smoked a pipe, it's a very relaxing, very nostalgic, very puts you in that almost a childlike state. I don't want to say state, but like a childlike mind. Like this is like, oh, that's Grampy. God rest his soul. That's Grampy's pipe. I remember going into my nan's house and I don't think I was five or six years old if, and I'm, I know guys, people smoking in the house and five round babies, but it was the 80s. People did that. I'm sorry. And he's sitting there and he's literally got his pipe. He's got a glass of uh, whiskey <laughs> and his pipe in his mouth. Puffing away and he's reading the news. Classic, typical classic Grampy, you know what I mean? The pipe's going, the whiskey and the paper, and he's sitting in the rocking chair. Or was it? No, it was a recliner. He was sitting in the recliner. And you walk in and he turn the paper down, looking, what are you doing here? You know what I mean? <laughs> and... Yeah, man, how scents do that, man. Sense of smell, sense, how they just bring you back. Good times. I mean, not all good times, of course, but, man, this is a good one for me. And anybody around my age, late 30s, early 40s, who had a grampy that smoked tobacco pipe, man, it'll bring you right back there. Anyway, yeah, I mean, give it a try. I, I wouldn't go out of my way to get this or the authentic, simply because it, it's more, it's going to be more of a, around the house type use for me and spray it in my humidifier or not humidifier what's it called fucking humider or humid whatever the fuck it is where you put a candle underneath and you put some liquid in the top or some wax or some water and stuff and it light it up and it just fills the room that's what it's going to be because it's going to remind me of a grampy I love grampy all right guys anyway peace love be good to each other